What is up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Coffee Break Season 2, where we're just taking the moment to just celebrate people, man. And I'm excited because we got another one. This is episode 3, and we got a guest with us, C4 Crotona. You already know what it is. Um, and he's gonna, he's gonna, he, he's gonna talk to us. You know, we had him on the, on the first season. He was probably like the, the third episode of the first season. So go check that one out if you haven't seen it yet. But there is no coffee break without some coffee. And it's unfortunate that my man doesn't drink coffee, but it's all good. I'm gonna let him slide with that one. Um, but without further ado, we just want to welcome C4. Coffee break. Before we continue with today's video, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Subscribe. Subscribe is a fast and easy way to stay connected. Connected with who? Connected with our community. By simply hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon, you get exclusive access to be one of the first ones to receive an update when new videos are uploaded. Not only that, it helps continue to push the channel going forward. And for all my Spanish speaking people out there, subscribe it there. It's fast, easy, it's simple, and it's free. Let's get back to this video. What is up, my guy? What up, man? Bro, it's good to have you again, bro. Thank you, bro. I know it's been a minute since I, since we last spoke at the other coffee shop, then the pandemic just mm. brought me into my studio to, to start doing these coffee breaks. Um, but it's all good though, bro. But I'm, I'm actually happy to see you, bro. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you having me. Yeah, man. Again, man, we got a lot to talk about. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to go into it because I've seen what you've been doing. I've seen a lot of, you know, your your last post was a definite um, a blessing to me when I saw it, too. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, so what's yeah. up, bro? Like, how, how you been? What, what you been up to lately? Uh, man, you know, just, uh, you know, asked my lady to, to marry me. Mm -hmm. That's what's really been going on. I had Congrats, bro. Occupied my mind for the past few weeks. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, man. How, how do you feel about it? I feel great, man. I feel great. You know, obviously, you know, uh, this is from the Lord. You know what I mean? A relationship from the Lord is definitely a big difference. Yeah. You know, than what I've, I've uh, experienced prior. Yeah. yeah man. So definitely a blessing, man. He who finds a wife is a good thing, bro. Mm -hmm. that's, man, what all, that's what all the Christians are saying to me, the, <laughs> Bro, it's a good thing, bro. It's a good thing, dude. And, and um, it, it's a blessing, bro. It's definitely a blessing. So congrats to you in that sense um but you already know what i'm doing with this season this time around with coffee break you know and um i, I want to take moments to also celebrate people right you know and i think this is a good opportunity now to just you know celebrate you celebrate you know what you've been doing um sometimes we we do things and we don't get like put to light like we should you know and people are doing some great things like behind the scenes right you know and not saying that you're behind the scenes <laughs> but um um like not getting as noticed as celebrities do you know celebrities are getting celebrated all the time you know what i mean but what about the people that are just starting and doing other cool things as well you know what i mean right so i wanted to take the time to and just celebrate you really quick and let you know you know what i mean i'm, I'm thankful for your life i'm thankful for our friendship you know what i'm saying and even though we don't see each other every day or whatnot but um, um i appreciate the the, uh, the times that we do get to catch up and, and chat and um, um, I want to celebrate you with you also on this new journey that you're going with your wife and stuff. Right. Um, your future wife or your fiance right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the whole thing. How, how was her reaction? Like, how, how, how was it? Like, how did you set this up? <laughs> well, yo, you know what's so crazy? First of all, thank you, bro. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. First of all, man, I had a whole plan. And it's like all my plans got thrown out the window. You know what I mean? Um, had some... Uh, you know some some medical issues that that uh that i thought was gonna throw it away i even canceled it i told her not to come or nothing you know what wow. i mean i was like i was I, I had the mind of um i guess i'm gonna do it when i feel a little better that, that was my mindset yeah and um you know she she said okay obviously she didn't know she said okay i was like yeah i'm gonna cancel this weekend then you know the day that i wanted to do it she ended up texting me and said i'm going over there anyway and i'm like all right so she came anyway and i'm like man god just must want us to do it regardless like forget all the plans like you know that stuff is cool yeah it's cool you know what i mean but it's not really you know you know what i mean so she came and it was real quick man it was real it was real quick like she really came and i was just you know smooth with it. i'm like man you really came over here 
No, and I'm not feeling well. I'm like, of course. I'm like, oh man, you like material. She's like, why you guys say it like that? Boom, they pop it out on Let's her. go. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, it was a real dope moment. Yeah, it was just you and her, right? It was nowhere, anything special, right? No, right in my room. Yeah, that's cool, man. <laughs> that's what's up, bro. Yeah, bro. So that that's dope, man. So so now I got you here, right? You you we got this like so much things. I'm not sure we're gonna cover every single aspect of this, you know, of what's going on in your life now. Yeah. But I know a major highlight was this one I definitely wanted to touch on, which was, you know, the the whole engagement type of thing now that you got going on, which is a good thing. It's gonna sharpen you, it's gonna build you into you know what I mean, into a new man, bro. Um, but from the last time we met, you know, you shed a little you talked a little bit about your your you know, a little of your testimony, right? You know, your mom and you know some your your childhood upbringing a little bit. Yeah. Um, you talked about some projects that you already had, you know, that you were doing, um, and some future projects that you wanted to do. Yeah. So that was almost like what, like two years ago or whatnot? Like, yeah, that was like right? two years ago. Yeah. About two years ago, right? So then now you're dropping projects like. Like crazy, you know what I'm saying? You dropped already one project, and you how, how many projects you got rest for the rest of the year? You want to drop how many projects left? It's looking like so far I already have two. They're waiting, but there's so much time. You know what's crazy about me, bro? The way that I like write, I don't like people think I probably write a lot. Right. I don't write a lot. It's when I feel like writing, I write so much. Okay, and, and then you build a project out of it. Yeah, yeah. Right. So when I feel like it, so that's what I'm saying. Like it's still early in the year, so yeah. Maybe next week. Maybe when I go home later, I'm like, you know what, man? I think it's time for another project. And yeah. I might do another one. Yeah. <laughs> so, but your goal, at least, do you have a goal for yourself? Like, you well, want to do at least three more, like, three projects? So, like, you usually do three projects a year, probably, right? Yeah, so, but so, this is a big year. So, ho hopefully my album, my debut album. Right. Because, you know, I'm signed to Menace Movement. I'm mm -hmm. um, you know, dating Sonya. Yeah, we want to touch on that, too. Yeah, so, my debut album with the label, uh, Since We Last Spoke. Uh, should be coming out later this year and then um, I have another project with Dayton <laughs> that uh, that should be dropping maybe before it okay yeah so you got you got you got a lot of material that, that that's coming out so now you 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 got so from then till now you got fiance mm -hmm. you got projects yeah you got albums yeah that you're planning on doing like how how you feel like this year this year has started for you like what what all these like you know projects coming in hand i'm pretty sure they didn't all come at one time no i'm pretty sure they were just you know coming in this you know at the at the moment and then you were just taking them on so how, how's it been so far like trying to juggle with with these projects that you got in mind plus life stuff well you know it doesn't really feel like like a juggle really because i craft while going through life you know what I mean? So when I'm at work, I'm writing. I don't kind of like, I don't separate it. Like when I'm at work, I'm work. I mean, I have the kind of job where I could put it together. I'm pretty sure there's other people with jobs that they have to absolutely pay attention. But for me, I'm a driver. So it's just me in the road for hours. And yeah. I, just, I just write. So it doesn't really clash with, with like my life. You know what I mean? It's just, like I said, when that spark comes in. So it doesn't, you know, thank God, it doesn't feel too much like a juggle yeah. for me at this point. Uh, you know part of my life yeah now as you're doing these these projects compared to your previous projects yeah right do you feel a, like a, a different type of vibe with it like you 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 feel like you know sometimes you you write some you, you get into a creative moment and you're hyped about it you know like old projects that i've done yeah and then you start doing new projects and it's like oh damn it's like is it better than, than my you know like the, than my last projects is is it kind of like I'm in a new season here, so how, how are you feeling now with, with these projects that you got going on compared to your previous projects? I think, you know, you guys are kind of like seeing me in real time in, in terms of like what my walk with Christ. Right. So this year is my third year being with the Lord. So obviously the when you listen to my music, you're going to hear more maturity in uh, that regard. You know what I mean? Um, so my first project, Renounce, I mean, obviously it's a Christian project. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then you listen to Snakeskin Bible Cover. That's the project after that. Right. And then you really like, oh, he's really, you know, talking about God. So as I grow, you're just seeing me grow. 
yeah. you just seeing me grow you know i don't nice. i try not to really compare my music like this project is better than the other ones i just look that's just a different time yeah a different time you know obviously you get better with the little intricate stuff yeah. but you know that just comes but um i appreciate all of them yeah because they all like music to me has it's like a time capsule like i remember where i was when i wrote this where right, my right. mindset yeah was when i wrote it yeah, and and do you feel like when you I know a lot of artists too when when they're when they're doing things when they're writing like, you know the like we spoke early like the the people right is is what kind of like makes people popular right like the yeah. whole celebrity thing or whatever it's the people that that's driving it right do you feel you gotta like you gotta compete with that or you're just like you know at this point you're just like bro I'm just doing me especially now that you're signed with a with a label you know shout out to Menace Movement and whatnot shout out. um. But do you feel like you you have like an extra burden on you, or you feel it's pretty much the same? And I'm just gonna give people what it is, you know? Yeah, I, to be honest, it feels it feels the same in terms of like my creating. Obviously, like I know, you know. But um, you know, Dayton Dayton signed me because of what it is that I do. So right. it wouldn't make no sense for me to try to switch it up right. now. You know what I mean? I have a particular type of audience and a particular type of music and a particular type of goal you know what i mean mm -hmm. um you know um and me and dayton spoke about it he's like yo you might you know he he, he was real he's like yo i don't this might not be the most popular route in terms of the type of music yeah. but we're gonna try yeah i respect and, and, that and, and and it's a niche it is a niche because yeah. you know my music is i come from battle rap right. i come from that type of thing and and that's who that's what my music is aimed for right you know today my song uh save my homies just cracked 80k and um, congrats congrats man thank you and i would say that to sum up my music it'll be that song like if there was a song that would have defined me at this moment it would be save my homie because that's what all my music is about right. it's all about just, my music is all about reaching back out yeah you know what I mean? And we was kind of talking earlier about, you know, performing at churches and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? But um, I'm really starting to feel like God is, like, calling me to, to the more uncomfortable places. You know what I mean? I really think a lot about, and obviously the church is great. The church has its place. Right. You know? But, you know, a lot of times I think about how effective is is. It's church if every Sunday we go to church and it's the same people and yeah. we're not reaching nobody outside. That's right. Every time we do an event, it's just Christians at the event. Yeah. You know, maybe there might may be somebody that's not a Christian there because they aren't or something drug them there. Yeah. But for the majority, it's uh, it's, it's just Christians there. Yeah. The church event, other churches come. It's just church events. And I don't think that my music is Christian music, but it's not church music. Right. It's 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 for outside music, yeah. so sometimes people will listen to my music and they're like, I don't know if this is, it's not for you. Right. It's not for you. The people who are listening to it, yeah, obviously they under they understand that I'm a Christian by, yeah. by the lyrics, yeah. but they also they vibing with the beat, they vibing with the the wordplay, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. It's kind of like the medicine and the candy. Yep, and that's like my, you know what I mean. And mm -hmm. to answer your question, yeah, I don't I don't I don't feel no pressure and nothing like that because that is the mission that's yeah. my that's the mission that's what i feel called to be. yeah and, and music I, I always saw music as as such a big evangelistic tool right yeah. like like to evangelize and reach people you know th there's so many other ways to evangelize too but i think like music is so like relatable right like to so many at so many different levels you know um there's so many genres there's so many different styles there's so many different ways that you can go about it you know what i mean yeah and once you find your 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 place that's what you're gonna stick with but like as as you're growing right do do you feel like have you tried to like you know try new things you know what i'm saying like just yes you got that 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 battle rap like mentality and that's what you're using which is you know is dope anyways but do would you find yourself like maybe trying new things and not not necessarily getting away from it entirely i'm just saying like just switch it up maybe on these next projects do you plan on maybe doing a song or two that might not be like battle rap style you know what i mean I, songs I, with, with my album i would say that my album is more like I can minister with those records. Mm, nice. I can minister with those records. And it was, it was definitely done intentionally, right? So, like with my EPs, you, you got to look at EPs these days like mixtapes. Mm -hmm. You know, mixtapes used to be hot. 
but now it's the EP that's hot. And um, I kind of look at that like like mixtapes. Like I just, like I said, keep it Christ centered. But it was like flexing with the wordplay because that stuff is the real. You know what I mean? Is is I'm, I'm I'm throwing the bait out there. And once these you know people become C4 fans, when they when I start dropping this meat, yeah, you know what I mean? They're gonna be able to um, you know. Listen to what I'm saying. You know, my album is really, is really from the heart. It's really, you know, you know, God definitely g- gave me the direction for that project. Yeah, no, you know that, I mean? that's amazing, bro. And and I like that. You know, I lo- I always love meeting with people or chatting with people that that are, you know, just doing things a little bit different, but they're still reaching. You know, what I'm saying so many so many different people. Right. And I like I like where your growth has come too. You know what I mean? Because like you said, you 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 give you give the people. Um, the opportunity to enter, you know, into that pro, into your process, you know. Right. Like you said all these different projects have been seasons yeah. in your life and whatnot, and um, that that's pretty dope. It's not that our fans or the people that are following just want to know everything about your life, even though there's some people that want to know everything about your life, but just like to see the process of your growth and where you where you've gone and where you come from, you know what I mean. And I think that that's what's um that's what's good because sometimes people don't get to see that aspect. You right know, they they just see you putting up you know clips and videos up there you know what i'm saying on your instagrams but but they don't know c4 c4 you know what i'm saying like what what his grind is like outside of you know just rapping but just like getting your mind and your heart right you know before the lord before you you know writing music or whatever. you want to touch a little bit into that like before you're getting into like your inspiration mode like what are steps that that you take to actually stay on that grind? You know what I mean, and, and yeah. building out this music. I think it's definitely important to you know create like some sort of like a, I don't want to say routine, but like, like a routine. Like yo, I make sure like um, I'm not diving into just writing music if I haven't prayed, if I haven't read my word. Like I I make sure that I I do certain things before I even throw beats on and start thinking. You know what I mean? Or, I definitely pray about it. Like, God, what you want me to do? What do you want to, you know, what, what do you want me to do with this? And um, yeah, just really just getting close to the Lord with whatever it is that you're doing. Invite Him in everything that you're doing. I definitely, when I'm writing, I throw the beats on. I invite the Holy Spirit to just be with me, like, which, you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, I think that's that's really the gist of it all. Nice, bro. And and how's been the the uh, the relationship now with this? Like now you're signed with Menace Movement, right? Yeah. And that they're in Florida. You're out here on the East Coast. It's almost feels like a a, a long distance relationship, right? <laughs> like how how's how's that been so far since since you got signed till till now? How's been that that building? I mean, yo, it's it's been super dope, bro. Um, prior to me getting signed, I had a relationship with Dayton, and we we spoke. You know, pretty often, so it was pretty like natural. You know what I mean for mm-hmm. for me to to go over there because you know me and him have mutual friends, so I knew him like prior to uh, even being saved. Yeah, you know oh, what I mean. Nice. I, I knew yeah. about him when he was a secular artist, yeah. and we got a mutual friend. And um, yeah, so when I got saved, we uh, he, he he hit me up, and we were just talking through the DM, through uh, Telegram, and all that. Yep. And then he just asked me, like, yo, you want to be a part of Menace? And I'm like, yeah. You know what I mean? I probably would have picked that over a bigger, you know, deal because, you know, just like it just feels natural there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he's definitely uh, like a big brother. The guys in the um, in Menace movement, they're all, they're, they're all my guys. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So it feels good. Yeah. It feels good. No, you're definitely planted in good soil there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like even the, the whole team, you know what I mean? I think the whole team is pretty dope too. You know, I follow them as well. And. I respect Dayton too. He's a good dude, and and um, you you can tell, right? Like we were talking about earlier, you know, you could tell by the by their fruits. You know what I'm saying? You will recognize the people, right? And and um, and you can tell because of all the like Stefanato and all these guys that that, that are a part of that team. They're all min- you know, like you said, the word it's about ministering. You know, it's about reaching the people. Yeah. And I think you fell into the into the right, you know. Um, and they de- they definitely about that. Man. Yeah, they about should, that life. You bro. should hear some of them. Uh... <clears throat> I don't want to say debates, but those conversations in the chat, man, we really, uh, we get deep sometimes. Yeah. We talk about, you know, certain things. And, uh, yeah. yeah, it's real, it's like, it's real dope, man. It's like, yeah. it's like, 
God really put me in the right place. Yeah, bro, that's so because good. Because I didn't want to get signed somewhere else. Yeah. And it's not that, and 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 it all is all music all the time. Music ain't everything. No. Nah. Music is not everything, and and that's what um um, that's where I guess what you you felt comfortable with that sense yeah. where it was not just about you know the music obviously you you, you want to grow and you want to be fed you know right and it's good to be a part of a especially nowadays bro like even with christian music you got to be careful like what you're listening to bro because they can even steer you in, in the wrong direction like where where do you think like christian music is, is heading as a whole from you know I think it's like, it, and and to me, I really think it's a big issue, you know, like because the way the generation is is, you know, the kids are coming up, and like I feel there's more confusion than anything else, you know, and it's like when you got to take a break from listening to certain Christian music, bro. I think that's a bad thing, right? Because then it's like, what type of, what what are we what are we really doing? So what what is your take right now, just on the music from the Christian side in general? I think. That's a big question. Um, I think just like with anything, man, like as a Christian, you just got to pray on it. Pray on it. You know, when I first came to the Lord and I didn't really have a church like that, I used to pray to God that he, he, he'd lead me to, you know, good pastors to listen to. You know what I mean? Like, and I just believe just like with music, you just got to pray. Like, God, just steer me somewhere that, is, you know, that's, uh, that's good for me to be at. You know, um, Christian music. I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I don't know what the future holds for it. Um, it's a complex question because, you know, and I had to learn the hard way. But I learned that all Christians aren't the same. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we got so many different yeah. denominations. Like, you know what I mean? Um, you got Christians that believe that God still speaks and moves today. You got Christians that don't think that is a thing. You know, they think that it ceased when the Bible was done being written. So it's it's uh it's difficult, but if there's a will, there's a way. And that's a real that's a real Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you just gotta look. You gotta look and weed through. You know what I mean? Like I if you don't feel safe to put shuffle on Christian music, you know what I mean, then then don't. But take some time out to search because there is it is there and it wouldn't be fair to throw it all away because yeah. there's some people that's not doing it right. Yep, yep. Then there's some people who's doing it right, but their lifestyle doesn't match up, you know, with the character. Music, you know what I mean? And sometimes I ask myself, like, well, how much of that is my business? You know what I mean? Just being honest, like how much like, because we listen to it like, I forgot. I remember I was having an argument with somebody and they was like. They was, they was one of those people that bash like Hillsong and Elevation and they'll, and they'll start talking about whatever they be teaching. And I'm, and they were like, well, what, what's, what's some safe Christian music to listen to? Well, Maverick City. Mm-hmm. And obviously like they're more music based than like a church. And I, and I just say stuff like, well, we don't know what they're doing behind closed doors. You know, just because these people over here are loud about their stuff doesn't mean that these people are more saved because they're more quiet Mm -hmm. you know what i mean so try not to throw the baby out with the bathwater kind of thing bro it it, it get it could get real depending on the person it could get real crazy yeah you might and you might drive yourself crazy because there's all you like sin watching Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like oh that's sin I, i i'm cutting these people off like I don't know. I try not to go that deep. I'm even to a point now, bro, where I don't even want to meet my favorite artist because I'm scared. Yeah. That that, that yeah. it might just be a bad experience and it ruin my whole oh, listen, yo, yo. listening experience. Yeah, so yeah. it's like you gotta be careful. Like I said, man, just you gotta pray about it, bro. Yeah. Pray about it. Invite God to, in, in everything. Yeah. And but but I think what we're missing is accountability. Right. I think that that's one of the biggest things that we're missing as a whole is the accountability for one another. You know, yeah. um, and and just for the whole point of just like, if we're the body of the Christ, you know what I'm saying? If if we're the body of Christ, and that's where we're you know supposed to be helping each other out, but yet we're we're busy using one hand to infect the other hand, you know what I'm saying? It's like it doesn't make sense. And then it's like right now, I think what's the the biggest thing that we need is that accountability factor. Yeah. And a lot of people misinterpret like the judging with accountability. 
And it's not that we judging, it's that we need to hold each other accountable. I'm pretty sure Dayton is going to tell you, yo, bro, if you see something, if he sees something wrong, what's that sign in the, in the train station? You see something, say something, you know? And um, I, I think that's what we're missing. And we need more, like, genuine Christians to rise up in that sense. To just, when something is wrong, say something is wrong, but obviously do it with that love and that grace. You know what I'm saying? That God wants us to do it. But there's nothing wrong with with yo my man you you're in the wrong there you know what i mean and then we'll see that level of maturity with that person yeah if they're gonna how they're gonna take it you know what i'm saying even with that bro like i agree with you're saying first let me just say that i agree but even with that could be a little tricky mm -hmm. because um i think relationships are very important you know what i mean um yeah. they're very important um if like we know each other, like if I was doing something crazy and you were to be like, yo, C4, you kind of like, you know what I mean? I, I want to check you on that. Then I'll receive it because I know that you got my best interest at heart. Yeah. But sometimes just because somebody's a Christian doesn't automatically that mean that they have a license yep. to correct my life. That, that's right. And and I'm, I've, I've been running into that a lot. The more I grow as an artist yep. and my popularity grows. There'll be complete strangers mm -hmm. trying to correct me. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know you. Right. I don't know you. I don't know you at all. I don't know you from nothing. You could just be weird. Right. You know what I mean? You you could just be unfortunately of a certain denomination with a certain type of perspective and yeah. I just don't see it yeah. your way. You know what I mean? So relationships are very important and we're in a time where everybody there's people that have minutes their ministry is to tear down other people's ministries mm -hmm. now like i see it all the time on youtube like yep i'm correcting this person correcting that person you don't know them you don't know him you yeah. don't know like a stephen furtick or them. Yep. you don't know him yep and um it's, it, it has become a, a big annoyance because people start to use the whole paul versus peter thing yep. and well paul checked peter mm -hmm. paul knew peter Right. Yeah. <laughs> they knew each other. Yep. They knew each other. They, they had to walk together. They, they ministered together. Yep. So, so like I said, it could be tricky. It could be tricky, but relationships, relationships matter. Relationships yeah. matter, and I think it takes for us to start being bold because we might there might be some Christians that got Christian friends that are wilding out, and they are. I'm you know I'm just letting him go through his yeah, 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 type yeah. of stuff. Nah, you got you gotta tell him. No, it's you true. Gotta tell him yeah. bi biblically. You know, th there's verses in the Bible that's you know cor correct those. You know what I mean? That in, it's in the church that's bugging out. Yeah, like you got to. But it's but true, yeah. and it, it's you definitely need that balance. You know what I mean? Because it's 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 needed, but we gotta we gotta be careful. But at the end of the day, right? We should just be like worry about your walk. You yeah. know what I mean? Your personal walk with God. You know, and then obviously as you build relationships with people, then you you can check each other or whatnot. You know what I'm right. saying? So I, I do respect that. But it's just it's so, so much out there, bro, that we do got to pray and ask God even more, you know, for for his direction. And and as God continues to bless you, you know what I mean, and open up new doors of opportunities for you, more of that's going to come, you know. Yeah. But and then it's like at the end of the day, it's like, you know, you're going to get persecuted for regardless. But that's right. a good thing. You know what I'm saying? If you're not getting persecuted, then you're not moving forward, you know. That's why it's important to, to have that accountability. Yeah. Because I think sometimes people get so popular that they start to kick their accountability out. Yep. And like, I agree. And that that's an issue, too. That's why it's just, we got to really move in, like, wisdom, discernment, mm -hmm. and love. Like, all of that. To, so when we say something, it's felt that way. Because yeah. when somebody's coming at you in love, you can feel that it's, in, that it's in love. Yeah, you got that you discernment. Feel, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, you, you know what I mean? Like, that's important. That's important, but yeah, that's my take on that. Yeah, bro. And that and Christian music and yeah, all of that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> no, that that's good, and it's good to hear that that perspective too from from your side too. Like I said, you know, people are watching this, so people who are gonna watch it in the future, like they can see a little bit more of what of where you're coming from. You know what I mean? Just in general. Um, I so, just had that the other day. A dude left a somebody from my town left a super long message and was claiming that I'm not a man of God because of the style in which I convey my message in my music. And yeah. I'm just like, it's not for I'm you. Not, I'm not in the business to try to prove to Christians I'm a Christian all the time. That's right. 
I don't have to prove it to you. Yeah. You just need to walk it, bro. And then, like we said earlier too, right? It's by your actions that you, you know, God is looking at the fruits. You're gonna know them by the fruits, bro. You see, they don't hardly, they, they never, they wouldn't have to say I'm a Christian for you to see them as a Christian. You just yeah. see their walk and you see their fruits that they're coming out with. For that, that alone should, should sell. You know what I mean? And it, and it goes back to character, because you could be the best rapper, bro. But if your character is doodle. Mm -hmm. That, that's garbage You know what I'm saying <laughs> And what God Constantly wants to work in us Is in our character Right You know And um, um You know Talent And anybody could write Anybody could Nowadays anybody could write a song Bro and put a song out there You know what I'm saying But then It doesn't If it doesn't match You know what I mean With your character And how you You know Reflecting Christ Then that's where you You keep an eye with You know what I mean Right But I, but I do respect that bro I, I like I like your perspective on it I like where you're coming from On it I like what you're doing yeah. Um, and and in the angle you're taking it, um, because there, there, there's a style for everyone, right? There, there's a there's a style and there's a walk for everyone. It's just as long as we're walking in the same direction, you Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Which is which is important. Um, so how's how's now? Like you said, you got a project going on with with Dayton that you're about to do. How's that? Um, you could touch you could touch on that. Yeah. So it's me, Dayton, and uh, fully produced by. Uh, Someone by the name of Thanos Beats. He's a, he's a beast. Mm. Originally, it was supposed to be Dayton's project. Okay. But um, you know, he was getting the beats, and the beats was screaming C4. Apparently, <laughs> he's like, these beats are hard. Like, these are some hard beats. Some you know what I mean? Gangster beats. Yeah, like there was some hard beats, and he was just like, "Yo, do you want to get on this?" I'm like, yeah, I want to get on this. Like he showed me the beats. I'm like, yeah. So he sent me the beats. I had it for a little while because I knew he wasn't there with it yet. Yeah. And then he was like, yo, let's go time. And I think I knocked out like six beats in like three days. Oh my gosh. Like bro. I just went turbo. Like I just, <laughs> sometimes, like I said, I don't write that much. But when I feel like writing, I go turbo. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up, bro. You, know what I mean? you, you, you guys have a date yet or when you're planning on announcing it, but you can't touch on that yet. No date yet. No, no date, date yet. yet. No date yet. It's still like in the. Uh, so it's like fifty percent done, maybe, or has Dayton did his truck? I, I would say fifty percent. Oh, okay, I fifty percent. All right, back. Maybe like sixty. Sixty percent. Yo, let's go. 60, we waiting 60, for that project. 60. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's Shout out what, to Thanos. Shout yeah. out to Dayton. Yeah, man. Shout out to all the whole crew, man. Um, but yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I like I said, I, I, I want to thank you, bro. Seriously for for coming through. Um, I'll be doing the coffee breaks here in my studio now because of this whole. COVID stuff and certain certain yeah. regulations that they got going on, whatever. But um, I'm glad you were able to to come through and we were able to break bread a little bit. You know, just Amen. touch on music, touch on you know what things that God is doing in your life. Um, hopefully, we, we get to see a little bit more of you know as these projects unfold. You know, if you want to see more of what he's doing, he's definitely active on Instagram, on, on Twitter, and. You know, all the social platforms this dude is an analytical genius when it comes to the social platforms trust me he's watching you um so if you follow and then unfollow he's gonna he's gonna dm you you do that once in a while though right i do do that <laughs> <laughs> why you unfollow me <laughs> i definitely ask people why they unfollow me because you can see it yeah. yeah people think you can't see it you can see it no, but can. there's apps there's, there, apps. there's apps for that right i, I don't even want to touch on that because of the anyways but bro I, I really do appreciate you bro um, it's just unfortunate you couldn't have a cup of coffee with me. I know you're not a coffee drink, but we we got you set with a Pellegrino there. Mm -hmm. um, I had it this way just in case. I mean, you can't have the sign on the, the camera. But, uh, <laughs> that was good looks though. I wasn't yeah, even aware yeah, yeah. of that because sometimes you, they do stop mm -hmm. your videos from going up. Yeah. But um, like you know, shout out to Menace Movement. You got a good dude. Um, shout out to C4 and and all his fans too, and and his crew that that. Has been showing love since the beginning. Right. Um. I rock with you, bro. And and like I said, I, I appreciate you. I pre I appreciate you sharing a little bit of your of your life with us. Amen. Um. And if, if there's anything you you want to just tell somebody out there that, that that's watching it, that's probably in the game just as you, and they're trying to probably like fit in somewhere, is there any like a quick little nugget you can give them really quick before we close this out? Yo, just keep keep God first, and you know whatever He tells you, man. That's what you do. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes you got to, when God tells you something, sometimes you got to keep it to yourself. You know, I had a thought the other day about um, what if Abraham told his friends what he was going to do to Isaac? Mm. There would have been people that said, 
that's not of God. It could have been godly people that was telling him that's not of God. And I'm really understanding how important it is to keep it to yourself. Unless God tells you, bro, you can. So, keep God first, man. If he tells you something, keep it to yourself. I know we get excited when God tells us something, but hold that in. <laughs> I respect that, bro. I received that. That's a good one. Yeah. So, shout out to everyone out there, man. And again, uh, we're at another episode of Coffee Break. This is season three. We're celebrating my man, C4 Cortona. Um got some amazing projects on the way all his information is going to be in the bottom in the description below um his his social handles and all that other good stuff and like every coffee break never settle with being good when you have been meant to be great see you later my people